This is one Madden Ultimate Team coin. And I'm going to use this one coin to generate over a million. And then we're going to build a team with it. Since this is a brand new account, we have to start with the intro campaign solos. And we literally do not have a choice. But by completing these five or six simple solo challenges that they had for us, we were greeted with a couple packs. We got this Minka Fitzpatrick free safety pack. Now remember, the important part here is not to build up a team like in our God Squad videos. The important part is to build up our coin stack. So these Nat cards, these campaign cards, NCAT cards don't really do much for us. We're not in the market for free cards. We're in the market for coins. But in order to complete more solo challenges, which I'll definitely have to do along the way, I've seen that you need a quarterback, a wide receiver or two, and a running back. Once you have all those positions covered, any offensive solo challenge is pretty much doable. So we've moved up to a 67 overall, which should make these solos easier. And now it's time to step into some gap packs. We didn't pull anything great, but I wanted to get to my auction limit of 20 cards as soon as possible. I'm selling every single card that I'm pulling from these gap packs. That's the best way to make coins from this instantly, especially when you have extremely low coins like anyone has when you start off on a brand new account. Now you saw I'm playing on next gen, but I actually switched to the current gen version of this game where solo challenges are a lot easier just based on old tricks and glitches that you can use to exploit the game in your favor. I was also greeted with a gold team fantasy bag just from being willing to share my data with EA Sports. So we'll take that. And then I hopped into the draft solos. This was going to give us some coins, but more specifically, it was going to give us some level rewards, which was going to give us a lot more coins than just the solos themselves. Were. When I was done with the draft solos, I backed out. We were up to level seven. We got some pack rewards. We were up to 50,000 coins. We've accumulated some packs to open. Let's hop into it. Starting with the pro fantasy pack. And all that matters here is high overall cards that I can sell for a lot of profit on the auction house or build sets with them. I don't think I've seen Cora Lee Christian McCaffrey like all year. 82. And then this is what? A heavyweight? 89. We'll take the 89. Here we go with pack number two. Start with a power up. I think we'll take power ups. Some power ups go for a decent bit and elite there. Another small legend, 86. Not what we want to see, 84. Please be an 89. 85, Sam Bradford. And this is going to be... Whoa. Are you freaking kidding me? 97, cornerback Thurman Thomas. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Pro Fantasy Pack on the solo challenge. Massive card right there. 100,000 coins. That's 10% of our goal in one freaking card. We have 10,000 coins or 3,000 training. Of course, we're going to go with the 10,000 coins. Get an elite plus. I mean, this could be a really good card or it could just be something really small. It's going to be a small legend, a 91 Charlie Joyner. 95 NCAT free agency pack. I think I'm going to get a wide receiver just to help me with solo challenges here. And then what I'm going to end up doing is just quick selling this card for training. So hopefully there is a wide receiver in here. I don't even know if there is good. There's Alan Rob. Robinson. And then an 88 plus overall free agency player. I would love a 95. If I get a 95, it's not going to be a 95. It's going to be a 92. Okay. You know what? We'll take a 92. I'm sure it's going for like 30, 40. Fight. Never mind. 20,000 coins. So I posted some of those cards that we had just pulled. We also built this Team Builder 2 Levi Wallace card. This is one of the only team builders that we're building for this entire video. This Sticky Floor Sugar Rush Challenge also has a hidden egg in it, which we ended up pulling a small egg. It was a 93 Troy Palomalu. Nothing exciting. And we pulled a lot more gap packs. I swear at this point, in the year this coin making method is still absolutely fine next i hopped into gridiron forge and we got ourselves up to level 10 after doing this i like gridiron forge because you get a lot of packs that you can pull any card in we can pull golden tickets from these packs and the 97 overall cornerback that you get from it sells for 26,000 training so even though he won't be on our team we'll be able to convert that training into coins down the road we got five packs from our gridiron forge solo starting with the 85 plus elite player big legend 91 jerry rice not that great here's our 10k coins or 3,000 training pro fantasy pack guys we're a quarter of the way to our goal of a million before we built this team and and I have played for several hours at this point. And we've made good progress, but we still have a lot of ground left to cover. So I hope we can get something good in the second round. Don't want to see power-ups. Don't want to see Coralie. Don't want to see most feared. Oh, this was a terrible pro fantasy pack. Gridiron pack for our next one. This gridiron pack, we get an 87 there, a gold card, and then a gridiron guardians, 86 Joe Mixon. Not awful, but definitely not a great pack. 93 plus draft fantasy pack. I think this is like from level 10 rewards. Yes, yeah, 93 plus. We can pull better than a 93, but of course, that's literally all we're gonna pull because that's just my freaking luck on this game right now and then last we have an elite pack here uh please redux this could be a good card 92 jamar chase not really backyard baller sure free safety dare card that is just such a weird card to me man and then last superstar 86 elton jenkins so really nothing great from these packs but we do have a lot of cards that we need to go to the auction house and sell that's my next step but then i decided it was time to switch it up from the gap pack let's go back to my tried and true sniping and flipping cards in the auction house i'm trying to find cards on the market for cheaper than their normal value 
value, buy those, and then post them for higher than I bought them to make profit. Sniping is a great way to make coins in this game. You just need to know what filters to look at. So after getting a few snipes, I post those on the auction house and then hop back into the gap pack method. It's like gambling. I'm addicted to it. You never know what you're going to get. I'm actually holding the low silvers and low golds. I want to exchange these up and that's the next step that I take after pulling a bunch of gas is to exchange them up to low and high golds. These will come in handy later on in the video. I have a great way to make coins with high gold. Since we can only post 20 cards to the auction house at a time, I needed something to do while our cards were waiting to sell. I hopped into the NFL draft solos and these took forever. I don't remember the draft solos taking this long, but apparently they do. I did both part one and then part two. And of course, with any solo challenge string, you got packs to open. So that was my next step. It's been one day that I've been playing this game, probably like eight hours or so. And we're already to almost halfway of our goal at 480,000 coins. Really has not been that many solo challenges. It's been like two solo challenge sets. Oh my God, a 96 DK Metcalf. Let's go, baby. Small legend there, 86 Jim Kelly. Hey, that's what we call a good gridiron pack. 96 DK. This is a 97 overall NFL draft past fantasy pack. This is just going to end up going for training since I'm not keeping any of these cards. I already have a plan of what I want to do with that training. 10,000 coins or 3,000 training. We're going to take the 10,000 coins. It's another 97 overall draft NCAT. I think that this is a different one. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's the... Okay, it's the same. 89 plus NFL past draft player. Give me a big one. That's not a big one. It's going to be an 89. That sucks, man. It's a pro fantasy pack, which we got really lucky out of before. So I'm hoping we can get the same thing. 85 there. Our second round. This is a combine player. That could be a good one. 86. It's not a good one. 80 overall. 85. This is a full gold legend, which is going to end up being a 91. Willie McGinnis. Guinness. Someone was going to correct me in the comments. I already know. And of these packs, a 93 plus overall NFL draft player. Please give me a 97 for the love of God. Come on, man. Another 93. That hurts my feelings. We're at about the halfway mark, around half a million coins. But once you get a coin stack in this game, it's so much easier to make more coins from it. We start putting all the cards we just pulled from the packs that we open into team of the year sets. We build a Dixon and we also build a Nick Full. We do some more of the gap pack method to kill some time. Once these cards sell, we should be at around three quarters of the way to our goal. But then our binder will be almost emptied out. We need to get some more packs and cards going. I hop into the Madden Machine solos. You get 40,000 coins just for completing them. You get two 95 NCAT cards and an 88 plus auctionable card. These also took several hours to complete, despite the fact that I'm very efficient in completing solo challenges at this point in the year. Fatigue was starting to set in big time, and you can see that with our next pack opening. I'm like exhausted. Like I'm experiencing like extreme Madden fatigue. I don't know if anyone else feels this when they play this game for a lot. I played like nine hours of this game yesterday, and after a while, it just gets really tired tiring, really exhausting. You're doing the same exact thing over and over and over again. I feel like I really haven't played that many solo challenges, but I feel like I have played that many solo challenges and haven't gotten the craziest of rewards from them. I'm the first person to jump on the bandwagon of, hey, you don't have to spend money to play this game. But the grind that you do have to put into this game to be remotely competitive is exhausting. And at a lot of points, it's really not fun. I think we need a total solo challenge revamp in 23. That's one of those things that could really change ultimate team for the better is if you had a better solo challenge quote-unquote grind than just a quite literal grind doing the same thing over and over and over again and that's a problem i think we really need to revamp that and i hope they do 93 deandre hopkins 88 plus this can be anything this can be like a 96 overall player i think is the best we can get we get lights no did we i don't, actually don't think we did never mind with only 200,000 coins left to go i took all my end cap players and quick sold them for training which gave us 71,500 training to Roll. I'm going to roll training variety packs, praying that we get a golden ticket because that will pretty much put us at our goal without even having to sell the items in our binder. We are going to get some strategy items, which will help us as well. We can sell those for coins. And I did get that rare strategy item from a reward. But we're going to roll through all 72,000 training here on the second bowl. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you cannot be serious. Our last video, I did this too on the fourth bowl. This one, I do it on the second, and he is selling for 200,000 coins, which is going to put us at our goal. That is unbelievable. We reached our goal of a million coins. Now it's time to build our team. I swear to God, this was like 10 hours of playing this game. 11 hours, maybe 12 hours. I don't know. I'm feeling all sorts of emotions. Now for the most important position on our field, our quarterback, of course. There's one player that I want. We actually used him in a previous video. We're going with quarterback.
quarterback night train lane for 49,600. I'm prioritizing speed for our wide receivers. So the first card we look up is John Ross. Unfortunately, he's a little expensive for my taste. Same with Sky Moore. So we settle as our first receiver with this 94 overall Patrick Peterson for 58,000 coins. And quickly, I'm finding out that at the end of the year with the market having much less supply than it normally does, Marquise Hollywood Brown's card is not up, but we can complete his set for only about 5,000 coins more than we would have spent. And the last speedy receiver we want is, of course, DJ Moore for only 39,000 coins. We ended up making some of what we overspent on the other cards. There were no Noah fans on the block that I could buy, so I made his set. And for our running back, we went with 96 overall, Randy Moss. So for our offensive line, we're going to spend the remaining 88,000, which is about 17,000 per player. We bought 591 overall offensive linemen, completing our offensive build. We're going from a bronze 61 overall offense to a 91 overall offense. And the important part is that we have 620,000 coins to spend on our defense. The most important part of our defense is our free safety, strong safety, and all three of our cornerbacks. That's where we're prioritizing the coins that we're going to spend. There is a 97 speed safety, Louis Cine, or Cine, I don't know how the heck you say this guy's name. And of course, there are no Sugar Rush Buda Bakers on the block, which is the exact same way with Adrian Amos. I'm really running out of luck here. There's just no Sugar Rush cards on the market. Now, I hope this guy is up on the block. He's got 97 speed at our strong safety position. Now, because I want to spend every last coin that we have on our cornerbacks and make sure we budget well for him, I'm actually going to get defensive tackle here. So we're going to go with Corey Peters for 18,000 coins and William the Refrigerator Perry for 20K. Left and right outside linebacker are kind of the same way. We'll buy Charles Haley for 20K and this Aziz guy for 17.3. This Daniil Hunter card played really well for me in a previous video, so we'll go ahead and scoop him up for 39,000. And our right end, I'm going to pick up Super Bowl Malik Jackson, who I also think is kind of a menace off the edge. Now, I really only use one middle linebacker, so for our middle linebacker two, this Levante David card is actually pretty fast, and if we need to sub him in, he's a good backup option. And for our middle linebacker one, I like Chad, this Chad Muma guy. I don't know, again, who he is. Got drafted. He's a field general. He's only 52,000 coins. The most important part for our remaining three cornerbacks, we've got 250,000 coins left to spend. And the first one that we're going to go with is actually a new draftee. He's 84,000 coins. He's 97 speed, and he's six foot two. Our next guy is a saint who we've actually used before. A little bit under budget here, which is good. Marshawn Lattimore, 96 overall. This is a really good card. And our last player for 87,000, I actually think is going to end up being our cornerback number one, as long as his card's still here. 79,000 coins. A great value to get him at Trent McDuffie. And we've turned our bronze 61 overall defense into an insane 94 overall defense, bringing our total overall to 92. If you want to see gameplay with this team, click up here. But if you want to see a video where I built a God Squad from scratch in just 24 hours, click down here.